You know, I did not think I was gonna be so excited to talk about getting jabbed in the arm twice a week. Hey peeps, Jess here, and today we're gonna be talking about the exciting world of allergy shots, as in those things you might go on if you have oral allergy syndrome or any allergy in general. This for me is specifically for oral allergy syndrome, but the points I'm gonna make aren't. If you're interested in seeing my saga about oral allergy syndrome and what it's been like so far, I will put the links to the playlist somewhere up above, but you do not need to see those to talk about this. This is just about my experiences going on allergy shots, especially since I just got this one. I feel like this is going to be kind of a top X list, but really these are more just the things I wish I'd known before going on allergy shots that would have probably made it less scary. That being said, there is a content warning for this video because I'm gonna be talking about needles. You've been warned. And with that, let's dive right in. The main thing I wish I'd been told first is that the needle is not that bad. I went in thinking that it was gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a flu shot twice a week. And for whatever reason, my luck with flu shots has been not too great. Basically, I'm in pain all the time, like it's uncomfortable for a day. I sometimes have my arm in pain for a day. The injection itself hurts a lot when I go to flu shots. I was nervous. And you know what? This one is not as bad. Like this is my worst one today in terms of pain and it hurt for like a minute. And that was a lot of pain by this guy's standards. In fact, the previous ones basically didn't hurt. It was just like, oh, that happened. And I actually was really curious about this because science geek and all here, and I found out that the flu needle needle has a 22 to 25 gauge needle and is a 5 eighths to an inch long needle itself, whereas the allergy shot needle is 26 to 27 gauge and no more than a half inch long. So it's a thinner needle and shorter, which is why scientifically it hurts less, which makes me feel actually slightly comforted. I can't even watch my own blood get drawn, but doing this has been no problem. That doesn't mean you shouldn't tell your nurse you're afraid of needles, like definitely tell them. I just have been far less scared and far less in pain than I expected. And I think that's really important to know. Point number two, there are definite pros and cons to a walk-in clinic. I go to a walk-in clinic in that I walk in whenever I want and someone will be there during open hours to deal with this for me. And in theory, this is fantastic. But over half the time I've been so far, it's been like a 20 minute wait before I get my injection, if not longer. And while considering that I'm often waiting 20 to 30 minutes for a normal doctor appointment, that's really not that bad. But I was mentally hoping that I would, you know, breeze in and out just with the 30 minute wait period. Because if you don't know, allergy shots require 30 minutes on site. Yeah, bring a book. But really, it's been more like an hour on site. This isn't a big deal, really, but it's worth knowing if you are planning to have a walk in clinic as your choice for allergy shots. Number three, each shot varies, pain varies type of pain varies, intensity of pain, whether or not your arm works. It all seems to vary and it's gonna change as you deal with the doses as well, which that threw me the other day when they increased my dose without telling me and I went from like a two inch welt, which wasn't great, to this three inch welt that did not want to chill and was like doing weird stuff three days later. I, I wish they'd told me they upped the dose. So that happened. It's more that you really, really need to keep notes on what's going on. Like my little guy here, I'm gonna be recording for my next appointment, on my next appointment, how things go, because they need that info to determine whether or not I continue on the current dosage. I'm going to actually link below to a chart that I found from the University of Washington on how you should read the reactions you're having. But of course, if you're having a bad reaction, talk to your allergist. Number four, Tylenol and Benadryl are your new best friends. Well, it doesn't have to be Tylenol, but you get my point. What's going on here is 
you need to be taking some kind of antihistamine before you go to the appointment, but they're totally cool with you up in the ante after you get your shot, to the point where I got sprayed twice for this one with Benadryl spray, and I'm to take a Benadryl tonight. Now, that is my personal recommendations from my allergist. Your results here will vary. And I'm to take Tylenol or some kind of an NSAID such as Advil or Aleve in order to deal with any pain that's associated with it and to help deal with the swelling too a bit. This is more a reminder that you should stock up because you will probably suddenly be going through at least Benadryl way faster than you thought you possibly could. Number five, and this is kind of going along with your reactions, is that reactions take a long time to go through your system. So I've been noticing 24 to 72 hours for my arm to finish doing its thing. That's been partially because of the upped dose that I didn't know about, but in general it's been 48 hours of stuff happening. This is worth knowing because you cannot go and get another injection until your previous site is healed. Yeah. And so definitely plan your injections accordingly because you don't want to hopefully come in on a Friday, then it turns out that you're still reacting and you have to come back on Monday and fix your schedule. Save yourself some trouble now. If possible, spread your injection appointments out as far as possible so that you don't have the problem in the first place. And those are some things I've learned about allergy shots so far. It's Definitely not how I expected things to go. It's been far more waiting. I mean, I expected the waiting, but not this much waiting. And far more weirdly itchy. Like the itchiness happens at weird times. It doesn't feel like I normally think of having an allergic reaction. And I'm really glad I haven't had to use my EpiPen and hopefully so haven't you. Of course, I'd now love to hear from you awesome peeps in those comments below. Have you started allergy shots or are you about to? Have you learned anything neat you'd love to add to this whole little top five list? I would love to hear all about it because this is just the beginning top five list. There's so much out there. So many cool facts. And with that, I'll catch you awesome peeps next time. Laters!